dryer eyes Say goodnight I know You've been trying Fall asleep Only to keep You from crying You build it up It's all too much Don't let Them just fight So you Hold it in You'll never win But will you Feel alive So say goodnight and close your eyes. It's alright to feel alive. So say goodnight and close your eyes. It's alright to feel alright to feel alive. To Vinny. To Vinny. Vinny. the toothpick for this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> to feel I'd like to thank each of you for taking the uh, time and trouble and treasure to travel to the city of brotherly love for this wonderful weekend. Uh, we have people from all over Canada and the US and we have visitors from the UK and Switzerland. And I know that Lindsay and Vin really appreciate uh, your being here. No. Oh. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look so, you look so nice. Oh. I love you. You look so stunning. I'm so proud of my son and my future daughter-in-law. I mean, how can you? I mean, I, you cannot ask for better than than tonight. My speech is actually a letter to our parents, Lindsay's grandparents. Uh, none of whom are still with us. Dear folks, you don't know how much Liz and I wish you could be here today. Your eldest granddaughter has done you proud again. Lindsay is beautiful, elegant, unique, one of the truest friends I've ever met in my entire life. She is intelligent, beautiful, and he's very lucky to meet her four years ago. He cannot find a better girl to marry and spend the rest of his life with.
we know that you were beaming with pride at her med school graduation and on match day. We know that you're grieved at her diagnosis, but are amazed at her strength and resiliency. We know that you are ecstatic about her choice of life partner. He's a great guy, smart, motivated, respectful, brought up right. He comes from a wonderful family, kind of reminds us of ours. Everybody is, is so nice and friendly, and we cannot ask for better people we call family. Family mean everything. You know, that's, that is what life is about, family and friends. I mean, uh, doesn't matter how much money you have, if you don't have family, you don't, you're not going to have it, anything. I think she sees a lot of things that are opposite to her, um, things that complement her. Uh, I think Vinny is very level-headed and he's very patient and he can, she does no wrong in his eyes, but he's also not afraid to say, this is what I think and this is what should be going on. So he challenges her, which I think is very, very good for her. Already his love and commitment have been tested and he passed with flying colors. They're a good match. She the tempest, he the calm harbor. We miss you and we wish that we had said thank you more often when we had the chance. complimenting each other so well. He reminds us so much of Fred. Like, he's exactly like her dad. It's amazing, and I think, like, it just makes sense. You know, you just know, like, that, that's it. So I would now ask you to raise the glass of the Veuve Clicquot at the, at the bride's insistence and toast the bride and the groom. I'm so excited for Vinny to have someone that can be his rock. He's someone that who's incredibly intelligent, incredibly hardworking, and has a absolute wild side to him as well. And so having Lindsay by his side, I think, completely grounds him and is going to make him an even better person in the long run. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Vinny's cousin. Vinny would come visit me every summer, and there's just one thing that everyone he met that was my friends, my coworkers, my girlfriend, their family, or whoever, they would instantly fall in love with him. He just has that, just that character of them that people just, they gravitate toward. Lindsay and I have had a very epic romance that uh, spans two cat roomies, two human roomies, three apartments, three states, five cars, 
at least six cell phones, and multiple classy shots of Malibu with a splash of pineapple, which is our classy college drink of choice, uh, <laughs> and countless hours of laughter, tears, venting, musings, and just generally being in each other's company. GChat really got us through the years that we were apart, and I'm so grateful to call you my friend yesterday, today, and forever from now on. So I guess, I don't know, it was about two years ago, we hung out in Norman, and he was kind of telling me more about Lindsay in person and stuff, and I could just see that that passion, that, that Vinny kind of like drive that he has, and he was explaining Lindsay, and I was like, wow, he really loves this girl. To see him that passionate about something was just kind of like, yeah, melt in my heart, whatever, that sounds cheesy. seriousness I mean when you look at the two you just know they were meant for each other they're both so strong so hardworking just such happy people and I'm so glad you guys found each other everyone raise a glass cheers to you guys I think there was just silence. <laughs> uh, I think everyone just saw her and was like, oh my God, like, it's perfect. And there's nothing to say. Vincent and Lindsay, this is what we celebrate today. You both have a deep respect and appreciation of one another. You trust each other completely. Vincent and Lindsay, you both recognize that marriage is about passion, but also about bad days maybe even a few bad years. But I would go on to say this, epic failure, it's part of being human, and it's definitely a part of being married. It's part of what being alive means. Just remember, there is perfection only in death, but there is so much beauty in trying and failing and trying again. love for each other is unconditional. Continue to build a life together that is rooted in happiness and laughter. And as your cat, Jazly, wisely said, I'd spend all my lives with you. I'm just so happy because after all these years of kind of the roller coaster of love and emotions, I'm so glad that she has found this person and you know your heart can just rest in peace but it's not even peace it's just in absolute happiness and joy maybe as much as I try uh, I won't always be in the same city as Lindsay and I might not always be able to be there you know in person for her but Vinny will and that gives me just great joy and comfort um, that I know that my best friend will be taken care of. Lindsay recognizes that Vincent is an incredibly loyal and loving individual. I am blessed that Vinny can make me laugh in the most dire of circumstances. I am blessed because Vinny is my greatest ally, my most honest reflection of myself. I am blessed for the life we lead together. Vincent so appreciates Lindsay's abundant affection. He treasures her passionate nature and her creativity. He loves how motivated she is to do good and stay well. And despite her diagnosis with Lamb, she is understanding and empathetic of others and so courageous. Lindsay described their love so clearly. By the time I was diagnosed with Lamb, she said, we had found a deep love within one another and created a solid foundation on which to deal with this challenge. The sheer emotional weight Vincent bore for both of us during that difficult time is still too staggering for me to comprehend. He told me he would be there for me every step of the way. He said I would never be alone.
Vincent, do you take Lindsay to be your wife and best friend for always? Do you promise to respect her as your equal partner and as a blessing in your life? Do you pledge to love her and honor her, comfort and cherish her, and forsaking all others, do you promise yourself to her keeping for as long as you both shall live? I do. Lindsay, do you take Vincent to be your husband and best friend for always? Do you promise to respect him as your equal partner and as a blessing in your life? Do you pledge to love him and honor him, comfort and cherish him, and forsaking all others, do you promise yourself to his keeping for as long as you both shall live? I do. Please share your first married kiss. <laughs> Did you know that all animals gravitate to him? Now, on the elevators, at the park, he is like the male version of Snow White. <laughs> Video, Dave. Best outtakes ever. Yeah. Just smile. Wait, Jim, let Jim Jim, get out of the shot. What the hell? <laughs> I'm sweating balls. <laughs> Thank you. 